Welcome back to another video and today with the extendable routers from ASUS which besides all the features that they have they allow me to give internet signal to all the neighborhood. Olha, estamos já oficialmente a fornecer internet e a vizinhança toda com velocidades quase máximas. Estamos aqui. And I did record the video in Portuguese so sorry about that. Now if you are watching this video on your Windows computer don't forget to check out KeysFan where we will find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen you will get an extra discount so just in case I will leave a link down below next to the individual link for the reviews of these routers right over here and also you can find them on the YouTube card so that you can see all the advantages that all of them have and also their own limitations in terms of speeds and in terms of Wi-Fi range now at this moment let's talk about all of them together which creates the extendable router experience which so far is the fastest handoff experience that I had. Connected to the AI Mesh ASUS extendable router and we are going to test out in real time the handoff. At this moment we are connected to the AX59U and we know that by several reasons. I'll show you the full test in just a few moments but for those that don't know what handoff is, is when I have my mobile phone connected to a router which is in one area of the house and then I move away from that router. Sometimes there are systems that take a lot of time and only when the signal is loose it will grab the signal from the other one. But as you will be able to see it's so fast that if we are not measuring with the speed test which I was we will not notice when we are connected to one or another because we will have always maximum speed. Now extendable router and eye mesh technology from ASUS will allow us to purchase today one router for example the oldest one that we have tested the AX53U and then later on after one month after one year doesn't matter when we decide that we want to increase our Wi-Fi signal we will be able to purchase a second unit it can be the same model or it can be a different one like the ones that I have here and some others that I don't have. The biggest advantages besides the AI mesh that is smart enough to tell which router our own device will use to have the better signal. We also have a centralized solution of management in terms of software that will give us a lot of options to configure and to use either on our mobile phones or on our browsers. But if you want to take a better look at the features and the software of which one of these then just take a look at the YouTube cards and you'll see there in more detail. Configuration wise it's so easy like setting up a router from ASUS for the first time. I've been using for the past few days only the app on my mobile phone because it's so easy and to create a IA mesh with extendable router from ASUS we just need to go to the app we need to decide which router is our main router and then we just need to add the others as AI mesh. In my particular case I did use the GT6 as the main router and then I did add the AX59U GTX 16000 as the secondary routers. And lastly I also added the AX53U which was not necessary because I had more than enough because I did all the tests on three floors and I went above to the roof and <laughs> that was just insane. So basically the fourth router was only to check out and show and share with you on the app that we can have unlimited device. Actually I think that it's unlimited but we will not need that many. In terms of tests as I was saying it was the fastest end of that I've used so far. Connected to the AI Mesh ASUS extendable router and we are going to test out in real time the handoff. At this moment we are connected to the AX59U and we know that by several reasons one of which is the speeds that we are getting but once we move away we have some limitations as we have seen on the individual reviews and you can see the speed dropping but there will be a point that the speed will increase and that is the moment where it end offs to the unit that we have here on the ground floor. So let's take let's take a look at the unit that it is. It's right over here and already did the end off. The speed did increase. So if we start the test once again, what we will see is maximum speeds, which means that we are connected to this unit. And there are several ways that we can see if we are connected to one unit or the other. But this is my favorite way, real time. The speeds are dropping. And let's take a look on where they start. And they already did start to ramp up. 
which means that they are now connected to the unit on the first floor, which is the Raptor GTX 16000. And let's do it again. If you still aren't tired of the test, let's do one more time. So let's go down and it's on maximum. So we are connected to this unit. Let's move away and go to the ground floor. So <laughs> did you see the, the speeds dropping? and they already started to increase so in the middle of the stairs something like that it did change to this unit right over here have in mind that my maximum speed is 500 downloads and 100 upload although we have a margin on the 100 upload by the uh, isp provider so we always get more and there we go we are on the maximum and <laughs> i could do these tests on the other areas of the house but we did that individually on the reviews so today just doing the handoff which works really really fast speeds dropped and when the speeds they, they did already increase we can notice that in real time really really cool now it's connected to this unit the ax59u if we restart the test we can prove that let's go and as i was saying there are other ways to see if we are connected to this unit or the other one but this one is the coolest one and it's my favorite fastest handoff that i've seen on wi-fi mesh so far so just crazy right and if you want to check out the individual speeds and wi-fi range don't forget to check out the individual reviews which will help you to decide which one you might use and i did test them all on three different floors and then on the roof as well there are two ways that we can connect them the most common will be through wi-fi where i will place one router as the main router connected to my internet cable and then i will place the other routers on strategic location where they will be able to communicate to each other giving a strong signal and then each one of these will spread the signal around increasing the wi-fi signal for example right over here if i placed my main router here on the office on this location i would select to the second location for example the ax59u to be placed exactly above on the floor that i am on this position right over here so that they will talk one to each other at incredible fast speeds and then each one of these will do its job on the floor that they are giving the speeds that we have seen on the individual reviews now on my tests i did use the second method which is to connect a ethernet cable to the back of each one of these and this is something that it's not so common because sometimes we don't have ethernet cables on all our house but right over here i do have so this is the best of both worlds i will have all of them communicating between them and using an ethernet cable which means that i will not lose anything at all even if i have a wall or a door or something like that because each one of these will be transmitting the full power of my internet provider to the area that they are assigned without any kind of loss whatsoever but at the same time all of them are aware of each other so they will work together to give the best experience possible to someone that is using a mobile phone or a laptop on the go so this was a awesome experience i also tested out with wi-fi and they work well but if you have the chance to put in a ethernet cable and we have that option available to select if we want to prioritize the wi-fi communication between them or if we want to prioritize the communication between the ethernet cables it's called the back Hole. and basically this is it the only thing that i would suggest as well is that when we decide which main router we want to use we should decide the router that has more capabilities in my particular case in this example i did test out the gt6 as a main router and then the ax59u as secondary and the gtx 16000 as a secondary unit as well but the way that it works is that the management or the software that we will use to manage will act aggregate itself with the features of the main router and that will be okay if we have a router with less capabilities but if we have a router with more capabilities we will not be able to use them unless we have it as a main router 
And that being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. Hope that you enjoyed to see the test, the fastest tests in terms of handoff of the extendable routers from ASUS. And if you did, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really, really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.